he is saying that the uh, immigration has taken interest in your case. Mm. So I've called the church legal counsel to take it from there. Why not eat? Ah, uh, Pa, I thank you. I got no man to eat food. I'm fasting. You don't look like you've, you've been eating for some time now. But not to worry. Um, like every other storm in life, this one will come to pass. Pine the Lord, I'm asking you, when the storm passes, I won't know if the fact that I'm the one responsible for the greatest pain I cost my woman going to change. But I'm asking you, I won't know if the fact that I know that everyone ain't like me, I won't know if it's going to change. Pastor Henry, Pastor Henry, what we did to you is abominable. We want you to please forgive us. Pastor Henry, forgive me personally. I was the one. I am responsible for what you're going through. Pardon the Lord, pardon the Lord. I won't know who I am. I won't know me. Like it happening in the movies. Like I'm watching a movie. And I know that the only place in the world I know it can happen. It's not easy. You listen, my son. I think I'm equally responsible. Because after you confess to me, I shall call the elders together to this condition. Come on, as it may, this is only a challenge. A test of your own faith. No, 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 Pa. It's not an issue anymore. But I ain't think Susan can love me anymore. I ain't think she can forgive me. Pa, I'm not gonna forgive your eye in her shoe. It's not easy. Why is that? You doubt the power of God. Pa, it got nothing to do with God. It got nothing to do with God. This does Caesar do. Pa, I rape her sister. I kill her pa, I kill her mom. That the fact and nothing changing. Did you do that? Pa, you all check it. I can't remember her. But pa, I know I did all the bad, bad things that chuckle my past. So you tell me, pa, how you think Susan, my woman, gonna forgive me for all I did? It's not easy. You are limiting the hands of God. But let me leave it at that. For now, I'm very, very busy. We'll talk later. I want you to hold on. You are getting out of this place latest tomorrow morning. Oh, give yes. God thanks. Let us pray. So that's Gerald. We actually would have come to see you if we knew you were back. Um, yeah, but Sue actually went visiting. She would soon be back. Okay. Maybe it's all for the best. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, actually, we need to talk about the situation as it affects Susan. Yeah, I was hoping someone would come up with that suggestion. It's the doing of God, I'm sure. Well, uh, for the sake of our guest, um, I would like to explain my relationship with the family. Her father was my senior brother, the only brother I had. Uh, he was actually the one who led me to Christ. Yes. He was called into the missions. Well, I was called to pastor the church. And the church financed all his missionary trips. 
I would have him and her mother. I baptized her with her sister Susan. I would have been the one to pastor her wedding. But for the unfortunate tragic incident. But God willing, I will be overseeing the marriage. Then I think you are the most qualified to mediate. I am. I, in fact, I owe it as a duty to both of them and to God. Yes. Uncle, um, I'm sorry. It's not like I'm trying to deprive you of your right to mediate um, in this matter, but I really don't see where this is going to get us because we would leave and put this whole sad episode behind us. Would it actually end it? I mean, in my book, I would call it running away. If running away will bring this matter to an end, then you have been able to put it, I mean, the incident over you, behind you long ago. Uncle, I did not run away. I, I, I stayed away. I needed to stay away. For close to seven years, seven good years. And yet you've not been able to come to terms with what happened. Hmm? Now you are encouraging your sister to do the same thing. Tell me, in your decision have you actually considered her i mean susan i mean how she feels susan feels the same way i do uncle this man killed our parents for crying out loud i ask you the last time where you go where your general or your valuable a bag of corn we don't even have we barely have enough to eat we are poor missionaries please spare our lives I don't want anyone stop the work here. I gotta play with her, did Okay, Okay, Jim, got it, I'm not even talking about me. I'm not talking about what he did to me, but I'll go for crying out loud. Think about what he did to your brother. Your only brother. Think about the way he was butchered. 
and bond like a common animal by this man. Uncle. This man. And you want vengeance? You want to hurt him? The way he has hurt you. You want an eye for an eye. You want your palm of it. I don't want anything from him! No, I don't! She said I can do whatever she wants to do. She's an adult! You know, you and I know that it is not true. You are all that son has left. I should not have the courage to do as she pleases. Because your feeling is the first. Sandra, you are the only one that can settle this situation. Why is this depending on me? Why? Uncle, I am the I'm the victim here. No. Susan and Henry are the victims. You were once a victim, yes. But today, both of them are the victims. If we can only forgive them, Susan will be free. This is not fair. It's not fair. Why do you make me feel like I don't even care about my own sister's happiness? Don't I care about my own sister's happiness, uncle? I did not say that. Now listen to me, Sandra. Are you a believer? <laughs> uncle, huh? please. Please, this is not about religion. No. All right. Listen to me. Your father was my senior brother. The only brother I had. I had that guilty conscience because I was the one who sent him to Liberia where he was killed with her mother. I feel the pains. I know you are hot. Yeah? But I'm also hot. Please, we must move forward. We must let this incident behind us. Now tell me, What would your mother and father want you to do in this circumstance? Can you tell me? Food and water. Uh, Sister Ndolo, I thank you. You're welcome. Why can you see me and bring me food? Uh, okay. You see Susan? Yeah, she was at my place earlier. I know. If you still love me anymore, I beg you, Tina, I beg you, tell me the truth. She's confused. Oh, yes, what? My woman not supposed to go to what she experiencing now. I now know. I pay for all the bad bad things I did in the past. My woman innocent. Everybody innocent. Yes, nobody yes. is innocent, Pastor Henry. Please. <laughs> not you, not sister, sister, not even me. In one word or the other, everyone is guilty of something. 
sister-in-law in not easy. They no mass murder, they no rape, they no all the bad things I did in my past. Everything is equal in the sight of God. I'm not really the right person to advise you now. I don't know what you did, but whatever it is, you did that when you were in the world. You are a changed person now. A born again Christian. I know. I know, sister. I'm the first one to condemn myself for what I did in my past. Yes, what? Now, about you. I'm begging you, Father. I'm begging yes, what? To let my sin pass by me. It's not easy. Sister and the Lord, I'll be damned and no better. And I can't do anything now. The woman I love not calling me devil. Susan calling me devil. She didn't say anything like that. She never said anything like that, Pastor Henry. She's hurt. She's confused. But she still loves you. Sister, you telling the truth? You sure? I am very sure. I know, maybe because of my battling with challenges and respect of love, I, I, I see things the way they really are. Sister, I beg you. I need your help. You gotta help me. I love my woman. I want you to tell her I'm sorry for everything. I love my woman. I love Susan. I die. I die. She still loves you. Mr. Man, you are free to go. Come and stand for your thing. Ella has buried you. Uncle. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Yes, wow. Oh, my God. And I now know you are the true God. I thank you for your delivering me. Oh. My God, you be free. Oh. My God, I exalt your name. I wait for you outside. Hello? Oh, she said that man is to remain in custody until further notice. We just got a signal from the head, first headquarters. Oh, yes, ma'am. What happened? Oh, God. What happened? What happened? What happened? What is it? What happened since I've been gone? What is the problem? You tell me. I don't understand. Tell me, Susan. Am I the one depriving you of your happiness? Sandy, why do you think that? You're my sister for crying out loud. Uncle was here today and insinuated that I was the one influencing you. In what way? Huh? Well, he says, since I would not forgive that murderer, I influence you not to forgive him also. Why would he think a thing like that? He. He killed our parents and raped you. Do you love him? I... I... Susan, do you still love him? Sandy, I don't After know. After all he did to us, do you still love him? I don't know. <sighs> Susan, you know... I love you. I love you very much. I mean, you're my sister, but I can never forgive this man. I can never forgive him for all that he's done to us. I can never. Sorry. Don't. I really have thought about it. Find a place in my heart to forgive him. 
and I I don't want to stand in your way. Don't say that. I've thought about it. understand what you're talking about. Did you call Victor today? Victor? Who is Victor? Don't play games with me, young woman. You know who I'm talking about. The Chief Justice of the Federation. Oh, that's Victor. Well, I did call him to find out if there is a way he can help to see that we extradite Pastor Henry back to his country to answer for his crime. Since obviously, there is nothing this great country can do about it. I can't believe you are the one doing this. You might be stubborn, strong-headed sometimes, but never vindictive. You see? You see, Uncle? So, Uncle, you're trying to insinuate that I'm the one influencing her, right? I said so before, and I'm saying it again. Uh, this is your handiwork. She has nothing to do with this. Absolutely nothing. Pastor Henry committed a crime against humanity. And it's only fair that he goes back to answer for his crimes. It's, it's unfortunate that he's one of our shining pastors. But the fact remains that he committed a crime and he has to answer for them. I hate to say this, but if you insist on your course of action, you will live to regret it. Yes. Both of you have come of age. And I can't carry you across my knees to flog common sense into both of you. As for you, Sandra, may God have mercy on you. I'm going. But rest assured that I will fight you every inch of the way. What just happened? Whose, whose side is uncle supposed to be on? You know, sometimes I even wonder if he's family. You see what I keep telling you? <laughs> it always has to be about me. It's always me. Pa, I be damned. I can't understand. One policeman came and said, I'm free to go. Another one came to say, I can't go on bail. Barista came to say, I don't worry. But what happened? I can't understand. This is why I'm here. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. Susan has started proceedings for extradition to Liberia. The Chief Justice of the Federation was a friend of the father while he was alive. I tried to talk him out of it, but he insists that the proceedings must go on. Pa, you all don't worry. You all don't worry. If that the wish of God that I go back to my country, Liberia, it all right with me. It all right, Pa. But I know I come and go die. I know. I will do the best I can to stop that extradition. But even if I fail, I will make sure you have a very good lawyer. Pa. Pa in the law. There's nothing any lawyer can do for me now. 
and now know are going back to Liberia, and now know are going back to see Cambodia again. Oh my God! And now go and go to me my feet. Who is Cambodia? Ba, Cambodia, Cambodia, Cambodia that dangerous politician. The OPS Mache is at the far four level. What is the problem, Major? Mache, I won't ask him. Mache, I won't ask him why you attack Ganta. Ganta? Yeah, Mache. I attack Ganta? Yeah, Mache. That's my problem. Now, let me tell you something, Major. You are telling me that I'll attack Ganta, but do you know that most of these people that you are here fighting, standing for attack Ganta, most of them, don't you know that they are dissident? They are digging the fucking diamond, they are giving it to government forces. Then you are still there telling me Mache, that I attack Ganta. Mache, Mache, that thing you are telling me that big time skanks, Mache. Ganta, Mache, my terror, Mache. And I know that people are loyal, Mache. What are you talking? Now, wait, Mache, if you say the people of Ganta, they are loyal to you to the core, they tell me the fucking diamond that they have been digging, where the diamond have been giving? Where they have been, they, uh, been taking the diamond to? So does that mean that they have been giving you the diamond? They have been diverting the diamond to your personal use, Major? General, I now love the way you're talking to me. General, you know I'm not a betrayer. I'm not a betrayer, you know that, Mache. How did I know that, that they are not a betrayer? While we are busy in the booth, we are fighting for them, and they are taking the fucking diamond, and they are giving it to government forces. They say your people, they are not betrayer. You are not a betrayer. General, that the reason why you kill the people, that the reason why you massacre the people, that the reason why you kill the same people that fight them for you, that the reason. No, Major, I told you something earlier, and you must understand the fact this is a war situation. Straight bullets always have to be traveling, and war you cannot avoid it. Does that mean that everybody that died, it is I, General Kabode, that killed them? Kabode, Kabode, I not like it. I not like the way you're talking, the way you're talking, I'm chuckling my head. I not like it. Did I hear you say what? Kabode! Why are you saying what? You look at me, you call me Kabode. Yeah, mommy. I am General Kabode. It would be better for you to know who you are talking to. Mame, play your way, mame. You think I you think I ain't know you? I know you. I know you to be a damn fucking savage. Are you telling me you're general? I know you, mame. You're damn fucking savage. I don't know why you care, my people, why you rap, my people, and you're telling me you're, you're, you're damn old fucking general. Fuck your fucking general. I'll, I'll talk to you the way I like. Now, shut up, Major. You talk to me the way you like. Yeah, my man. Major, you talk to me the way you like. You told me that I'm a fucking soldier. Do you know how I begin a general? Or do you think I just pick the rank of a general? Don't you know that we start the whole OPS? From the budget, we came down here. To fight for these same people, then you are here talking a lot of nonsense. My man, there are big time skins you're telling my man. Big time skins. My man, let me tell you, you're fighting the war. I won't ask you what war you're fighting. The war in your office before your damn fucking death. Is that the war you're fighting? I fought the fucking war to make sure to free your people. And you are there, you are shaking. Kabode, you must be careful. Kabode, I gotta talk to you the way I like, man. You tell I'm scared of you. You tell I'm scared of you. My man. You can't do me nothing. You can't do me nothing. My man, any bush shake, fire will blaze. I'll be them. You still have the man calling me Kabodi and say any bush shake. What kind of fucking bush shake you are talking My about? My man, you are a damn fucking soldier. I tell you, any bush shake, fire will blaze. Now let me make something clear to you before I leave your base. Or before I leave this base, Major. You must bear this in mind. That there will be a time that you, Major, you have to answer for this. Cambodia, I know you. You're not even the damn motherfucking savage. And I fear you and I'm scared of you. You can't do anything, my man. You call me a savage. But I must tell you, Major, that you will have to pay for this. One. I'm waiting for you, my man. You're a damn motherfucking savage. Don't you see? I tell you, I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of you. And I tell you, any bullshit fire will place. You okay, my paper, you loot my paper, the same people that fight for you, and you're telling me about it. But me, what you did here, yeah, yeah, my man. What you telling me? 
Mama, yes, I love you all. Yes. Hey, Mama, you all know that I got a new tete. I can go enjoy my tete. <laughs> my tete, I want you all keep quiet. When I call you, go enjoy tete. You go enjoy tete now, so. Yes. Mama, now, so. Yes. Oh, Mama, you are good. <laughs> Chikabure good for you, my man, you're better. Yes. What you say? Chikabure good for you, my man, I say you're better. I'll be there. My man? Hey, Chik. Come. I say come. Are you a dead motherfucker? Are you a dead man that you said that again, man? I kill you! Hey, sorry, Chik. I kill you! Sorry, Chik. I kill you! Hey, sorry, Chik. And no one hear that dead motherfucker named Kabure again in the devil camp. You all hear me? Yes, you all hear me? Yes, what are we fighting for? What are we fighting against? What are we fighting against? What are we fighting against? What are we against? What are we What are going to do the dead people like Kabode? Kill them! Kill them! My man! My man! Have you heard? Hear what? Sorry, ma'am. I heard there's a problem between Jere Kabode and Overheat. Who are you talking about, my man? General Kabudi say over here is a traitor to this camp. Ah, you stupid. Why talk about my chief like that? I tell you, Swanti, you're telling me I'm stupid. You're crazy. What, Ch what are you talking about? I said, General Ver, he is a traitor to this camp. What? You got a problem, my chief? Yes. Kabode made me flare like Buria when he wanted to kill me. Pa, the Kabode, the corrupt politician. Pa, while we were fighting, the man was busy making money with all the diamond, all the gold, and the people property. And he killed the people cold bloodedly. Pa, if there is anything I know about Kabode, the man is a dangerous man. Even the president in Liberia say that he ain't changed his character. If I'm not gonna go back, I know I'm gonna meet Kabode. I know he's gonna kill me in painful, slow death. I know he's gonna kill me. But what I ain't got nothing to do, that my fate. I still give thanks, Pa. I hope you do not include God among those who are helpless to save you. Pa, I'm tired. Pa, I'm tired. I wish all my bad, bad dreams can move away from my life so that I just can be all right again. Pa, I'm tired. Pa, I'm dying inside. Pa, but in everything, I still give God thanks. That what the Lord book say that in everything give God thanks. Pa, I keep on living, I keep on surviving now. By the grace of God, I say, let the will of God be done in my life, Pa. I have requested them to release you to me on self-recognition. The church legal council told me that that was possible. So let us hope it will work. Hmm? You're right, Pa. But meanwhile. We keep praying to God. I give God thanks, Father. Yes. I give God thanks. The Lord book say in everything, give God thanks. I gotta live on the grace of God now, Pa. Yes. So you must understand that when it comes to international issues, most especially war crimes, it's a bit too delicate. You may have migrated into the country legally, but it still doesn't stop them from extradicting you. But the good thing is their failure or success is completely dependent on the government. Not really, um, because God is there. He's in control of everything. The final arbiter. 
In fact, he is the determining factor in this case. All I want for now is for you to work hard and secure his bail. I understand your niece is working on his extradition. And um, furthermore, she's well respected in the legal circle and the human rights activist, especially a crusader for the rights of women. And I, I see she has a cordial relationship with the Chief Justice of the Federation. Unfortunately, yes, I know that. But I believe that with time, God will show her the truth. Please, do the best you can and secure his release, his bail. That's okay. That's okay. Well, Pastor Isaiah, let me proceed to the CP's office and start working on his bail. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. something I got to tell you about my damn past. My love, I did all kind of bad things that I don't believe that God can touch me. I don't believe that Shh, God can... You don't have to tell me anything, okay? Half, half of the tales that my sister told me about the war, I still, I still feel it. I still don't believe. still find them hard to believe. I mean, that things that happened during the war can't let me rest, can't let me sleep, giving me nightmare, making my hair look I said the whole war upon my head. Why do you have to torture yourself? Why? Mommy, I, 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 I got to tell you. You don't I, have I just, to just... tell me anything. Sweetheart, we were all bad at some point in our lives, okay? But now we are born again, so right. it doesn't count anymore. And all things have passed away. All things have become new. You're right, mommy. We are new creatures. That the Lord's word, and I believe so much in the Lord's word, mommy, because it's only the grace of God that has kept me going on, mommy. But mommy, I got something to tell you. What? Mommy, I tell you. I love you, my love, from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Mommy, you're the best thing that ever happened in my life. I thank God, I bless God with that <laughs> Mommy, you know, without you, I can't do anything. What would I do without you? Stop, stop, stop. Insisted. <laughs> hey, are you alright? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I was looking for you. Oh, I was um, I was lost in thought. Are you sure? Right. <laughs> okay. I'm okay. Actually, um, no. Gerald and I were thinking maybe we should go to the embassy and try and get your visa. Maybe it would be better if you left, you know? My my practice. You know, my my NGO. No, I <laughs> it's it's alright. So suddenly I feel the need for, for a break. Good. Good, really. You're not still thinking about that murderer, are you? Yeah. yeah. He, he caused us so much pain. Hey. What do you want to eat? I'll pass. I don't have an appetite, really. I just... I'll go and have a nap. Okay, I am gonna take a walk. Clear my head. I'll see you later, okay? Maybe mm -hmm. all right. Yes. Take care of someone.
God, he caused me so much pain. He is responsible for the death of my parents. He raped my sister. I hate him for what he did. Why does my heart yield for him? Jesus, what do I do? How do I handle this? I know he is a murderer, but my heart yields for him. I'm sorry, Sister Tina. I, I didn't mean to budge on you. I just needed to clear my head. I just kept walking and I hope it's not a burden. Come on, you're not budging me. You know you're welcome in me. Okay. Susie, um, I'm really, really sorry for all that you've been going through. Okay, I really know what it feels like to be deceived by a man. That's what I keep asking myself every day. It, did he really deceive me? You mean, I don't understand. You mean he tried telling you everything? I'm not saying he did. Oh, that's not to say that he did not try. But I was so much in love, and each time he, he, he brought it about, I, 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 I couldn't, I couldn't stand to look at the haunted look on his face, and, and I just told him I didn't want to hear about it, that he shouldn't bother. So he didn't try to deceive you, but he tried coming clean to you. No. I've always believed in my fight, in my cause you know, for women folks, but even that, that seems like a child's play compared to what I am going through right now. One minute I am, I am consumed with hatred and, 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 and then the next minute I am, I am, it's longing and I don't have a right to, to to feel hate, vengeance, and anger. He, he deprived me of my parental love, and, and, and I don't know what I'm feeling. I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I don't know. Susie, I don't think I'm really the right person to advise you right now. I've now removed the pain in my eyes, not to talk of advising you about your own splitter. <laughs> you're alright. Compared to what I'm going through right now, yours is a splinter. Pardon me, you, you were saying? Yeah. I heard you say you should be feeling heat and repulsion. For who? I don't get you. No, I mean all these feelings, which of them do you have for Pastor Henry? All of them. Is this a trick question? Mm -hmm. You know, the way I say, he has done so many bad things, yes, but you love him. What was the name again you said the sister called him? Wait over it. Overheat. Is it overheat or past on heavy? You hate. Because I'm trying so hard not to see it from a Christian perspective. Is he not one and the same person? He killed my parents and abused my sister. How? How am I supposed to forgive that? How? Close your eyes. What? What? Close your eyes. Imagine Pastor Henry raping and looting. Can you say?
I don't see him. <laughs> but I, I, I see his smile. And you know, he, he has this expression when, when he's worried about something. And that's what, what am I doing? I'm going mad. I am sick. I reject it in Jesus' name. You're not going mad. You can't see Pastor Henry because he's a changed person. Christians call it born again. A new creation. They might have been the same people. But we're governed by different spirits at different times. I don't... I don't know what I'm supposed to do. My sister. What about your sister? She's alive and we thank God for that. I mean, your parents died in Christ. Didn't Paul say to leave us to the glory of God and to die again? Sister Susan, don't make any mistake. You've always cautioned me. You tell me not to let my emotions be cloud my judgment. And I don't want you to do the same. supposed to do. You make it sound so easy. It's very easy. I didn't say it's easy. Nothing in life is easy. We all know that, okay? But if I know you too well, you know what to do. I don't. It's okay, go ahead. I don't know what to do. Stop crying. I don't know what to do, It's okay. It's your strength, okay? Please. Please. Susie, stop crying.
Mind if I join you? I don't mind, I'll let you join me. Does the sun still shine? So, when did you get out? I got out this money. Uh, on bail. I've been restricted to the church premises and Papa's house. Uh, he was my short team, my man. Mama, you you met Sandra during the war? No, I we actually met back in London. We met there in Liberia. Yes, we did. As a matter of fact, we interviewed you. Thank you very much, Major, for having me around. Mama. Yeah. What do you mean? Uh, Major, I'm, I'm here to interview you about the war. My man, I say what you need. That the problem with you damn journalists are asking you or saying something different. What do you need? Sorry, uh, Major, um, I'm Gerard Hillary of uh, the Eastern African Network. My man, Gerard. You, you won't know why you came to devil camp and I can't allow you go out of devil camp alive. Because I want this interview. Because I want the world here, our own part of the damn story, the world have been misleading. I want them here. You got me right? Yes, Major. I'm Major over here at the voice of the people. That was why when I first saw you, you looked very familiar to me. Mame, when everything began, that was the existence of the youth rebellion. Mame, we were tired, we were fed up of corruption, oppression, injustice. We, the youth, we were fighting for a purpose. But Mame, when we saw the whole damn truth, nothing was to our interest. Every damn thing we were fighting against crept in. Violence is not the best result. You know, the ravages of war is not worth it at all. At all. It's a pity that we Africans have not come to realize that. Not until we do. We will always go back to the same status quo. When it got clear to my eye that the whole thing about liberation of the press and justice that we were fighting for was not the real thing, but was all about corruption and ego, my man, I had finished killing, I finished Mimi, I finished Mini, I finished doing all the bad, bad things. When I talked to my people about what we were doing that was not right, they labeled me a traitor and they tried to kill me, so I fled to Nigeria. Africa is the most beautiful continent on earth. Hmm. Blessed with everything to make it the most powerful continent. Still, look at where we are. Not until we stop corruption. I'm afraid there's no place to go. <sighs> All I want now is Susa. Yeah. I ain't know how I can ever pay, repay her pain, sufferings, or the bad things I caused her and her sister. 
Look, I am blaming them for wanting to send me back to my country, Liberia. I don't blame them. I got to pay for what I did. My main ignorance is no excuse for what I did or for the law. Yeah, I understand. I was very, very upset when I heard of their plans. I was with Sandra earlier today and we spoke at length. <laughs> you know, you have no chance with Kabodi. You should go back to Liberia. You know Kabodi? <laughs> of course I know him. No man stands or can match his cruelty. No man. I mean, they can as well shoot you back here than send you back to Liberia. Because with Kabodi, you have no chance. Well, I heard of your quarrel with him in Liberia before you flee. It was all over Liberia. I think it's the right thing. I keep by the sword, I die by the sword. I don't understand why the church is taking such a long time to take a decision on this matter. Yes. The Roberts family, yeah. they have been a part and parcel of this church. Yes. 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 yes, I must not fail to remind us that even though the wife is not from this country, she was resident in Nigeria. Yes. And it was the church who sent him and his family there. Mm -hmm. So the church is partially responsible. Mm -hmm. Gio, with all due respect, sir, I must tell you that your actions are wrong. Yeah. yeah. How can you bail such a man or even harbor him in this church? How can he pastor in this church? When the Bible says in the book of Exodus chapter 21 and verse 12, that if any man hits or kills another man, he shall be killed. Yes. 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 My sister, right. that's exactly my point. The church is not a refuge for rapists and murderers. Yes. Who after committing all sorts of crimes, things, think the church is a refuge for them. It will not happen. Yes. Come on. We all know the story in the, in the Bible, the story of Tamar. She was raped by her half-brother, Amor, and he was killed, didn't he? Yes. yes. Something has to be done immediately. It must be done. He must not only be excommunicated, we should also petition the CJ and what crime commissioner have him persecuted. Yes, yes. yes. exactly. Yes. That's what I'm going to. Look, eh? Jung, it was your own blood brother. And your sister-in-law that he killed. Oh. I feel that you should see to it that he gets justice. Huh? If the Robert's family were talking yes. about it. <laughs> Brethren, huh? what did the Bible say concerning such a person? In 1 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 1 and 5, for more emphasis, Jew, he said that we should deliver such a one to Satan for the destruction of the soul, so that his spirit will be saved in the day of the Lord. Yes. Brethren, this is all I have to say. I think this is not a case for the church, mm -hmm. but a case for Caesar. Yes. He has committed a crime against the law of this land. And as a law-abiding citizen, I think we should not harbor a criminal. Rather, we hand him over to the authority yes. to take care of it. Yes. Besides, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Yes. 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 This is the we have to do with this case. No for you. Let's come on. 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 Let's What is wrong in the first place is for the church to have arrested him. We are not in the business of prosecuting anybody, are we? We are not prosecuting Okay. Let us simply put it to vote. Okay. Yes. 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 Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait. Yes. Wait. Gio. Let us simply vote whether he should stay or whether he should be excommunicated. That is what we should do. We all have a stake in this too. Praise God. Hallelujah. All right. I guess it's democracy. We will vote. 
But before we do that, I would like to say something. I want you to know that I was the very first person to condemn what that young man did. He committed a heinous crime, which cost hundreds and maybe thousands of people their lives and lots of pains to those they left behind. When he came down here, he came to me and confessed what he did. As he spoke to me, I didn't see a killer, but a young man who was haunted by his past. Well, you can as well say this is my own feeling, but I have no business, it's not my place to judge or pass judgment on anybody. Let us vote. But let me remind you that as Christians, we follow the footsteps of Christ. And I remember when he was asked to pass judgment on a prostitute brought to him, he had this to say. Any man who feels he has no sin, let him cast the first stone. Those of you who feel that that young man should be excommunicated, please raise up your hand. Brothers, sisters, in respect of Pastor Henry, my hands are clean. My son, I uh, and the Lord. can I say something now that my hair is upright? Okay, go ahead. I thank you all. I know you all fought for me. I thank you. I'm not going to forget you all. God bless you all. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. I must say that uh, you have me confused. Why that kind of talk? I know you all excommunicated me like you all do your own things. I know you all did it by voting, but I know mine. I look up to God. Is that what you know? Or what you feel? Look around you. Where are your accusers? Well, pardon the law. That the same people I know in church I saw living. That the same people. God, you saw them go. If they have not judged you, we judge you not. So my son, go and see no more. And may God bless you as you fight for your wife. Amen. 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 Praise God. Anybody tell me that you have been released? Why would anybody tell you? Why would you want to know? Why wouldn't I know? Am I? Is he not my friend? 
I mean, shouldn't that be by his side when he's been released from the police station? And who stopped you from visiting him when he was jailed? If you are so much of a good friend. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? You know, it took this situation to really open my eyes. Mm -hmm. I know what love really means. Yes. All my life I've been trying to make love. Create love. And now I found out that I am so, so wrong. Look at Sister Susan. She came here, torn apart, all because of her love for Pastor Henry. And he, in return, was so much strained because of her. They truly love each other. So what exactly, I mean, what are you talking about? You and I, you don't love me. And I've just realized that I don't love you either. Okay? You've just been using me. My body, my money, everything. And I, in return, has been selfishly using you as a lover. Come on. Love does not only takes. It gives. It sacrifices. It cares about what the other person feels. Everything. And in essence, you're saying that I don't love you and I'm not caring enough, right? You're not caring. You don't care for anybody. You care only for yourself and your presumed image. Not only that, you steal, you cheat, slander, backbite. Jesus Christ, what don't you do? And you're the first person to condemn every other person. I will not stand here and listen to all this crap. I think I'm leaving. Oh. I'm leaving this house. Please be to Almighty God. Please, leave and don't you ever come back to this house. You and I know that you're just saying all that. You cannot leave without me for one day. <laughs> for one second. You know, I used to think that. But now, not only can I live without you, I don't want to have any dealings with you, your kind. See, the skills have finally fallen off. My eyes are wide open. And you see this baby, I will take care of him or her all by myself. Don't bother. I won't. Oh, do I even bother? Just leave my house, please. You can't be serious. Very serious. Look, look at me. Hmm. Tina, look at me. You are talking to a man with a great future. A man that God has called for. Look. Yeah, look at me well. You are talking to somebody who you someday call Papa. <laughs> Ay, Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Tim. I mean, you should know by now that all this is your big mouth. All these great goals of yours. Big dream. Does not get to me. I mean, they've all one thing. Listen. I really care about you and I wish you well. Just get out of my house, of my life. Okay? I wish you well. Just go. Mama, fucking mama, mama. I'm sorry. Mama, I'm sorry. Hey. Thank you. Please forgive me. You know, I also need joking. Hmm? I was joking, I was trying to pull your legs in. Eh? I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. Look, God is doing a new thing in our life. God is doing a new thing in our lives and look. It's going to be marvelous in the sights of men. Uh, do you know those people, those um, that my international people now, that my business partner, the guy has seen the light too. Oh. Oh. The guy is beginning to talk money. Soon you and I will get settled. It's not marriage. We we'll get married and our enemies will. We we'll put our enemies to shame. The bondage has been broke. It is over. What don't you understand? I don't want you in my life right now. And listen, the last thing on my mind right now is marriage. Least of all from you. Okay? Just go. I have important things to do in my life right now. Important things apart from me? Yes. Like what? Like praying and fasting. For God's intervention about this situation concerning Sister Susan and Pastor Henry. Mm -hmm. You know, they're truly good people and they don't deserve what is happening to them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's true. I think I will join in praying and fasting for them. Hmm. Very nice. But go to your house. Do it. No problem. Just go. Eh? Leave my house. I should go to where? Which house now? Mama, you know I don't have anywhere to go to. But I gave you money to pay for the rent. Mm -mm. Money? Eh? 
the money you gave to me, those people now, you know that my international pastor friend now, we we you know, we are using it to facilitate facilitate the movement. So you didn't pay for the rent. Is it not that stupid stupid landlord? He, he was now saying that me 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 I'm sleeping with his daughter and he was just talking talking things. But I have gotten somewhere else. The other man, although he's only said he's three years, but I, I will look for the money. Let's just stay together. See, please. you know what? Mm -mm. Out of my house. Out! Mama. See, I can't do without you, right? Mama, mama, mama. Okay, wait a second. I will so deal with you. God will help me. God will forgive me. Mm. Leave my house this now! Is, this is family. Mama, mama, it's my family. It's, uh, it's, it's, this is family problem. This is evil from home. I begin to bind. I bind every fall. Someone tell me why. This heart go on beaten, and why does the sun still shine? Knowing it is the end of the world, it ended. Hi. I'm sorry, I made you door open. Susan is not in, so please, I'll advise you to leave. Mommy, please take it easy with me. I beg you in God's name, you gotta listen to me. I'm not here to see Susan. I came to see you. You came to see me? <laughs> Why? So you can... To talk me into allowing you to marry my sister. I mean, after all, you have um, succeeded in convincing everybody that you're a wonderful person. So I guess I'm the only turn in your flesh now. Sandra, it's not like what you think. Mm. I'm begging God, I've got to talk with you. You want to talk with me? Okay, sit. And I guess I need to entertain you, right? I'll get you a drink. I, no, thanks. I don't need a drink. No, I'll get you a drink. Thanks. I'm not eating, uh, I'm not drinking. No, no, no. I'm not eating, I'm not drinking. Eat the food. I said, I'm not drinking. Over oh, it! Eat the food! Eat the food over oh, it! Eat the food! I said, I'm not eating, I'm not drinking. What do you want from me? I, 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 I don't need anything from you. What do you want from me? Sandra, I beg you. I beg you in God's name. Sandra, I came to apologize. I came to say I'm sorry. I came to say I'm sorry for all the pains, all the all the griefs I caused you and your parents. I'm sorry. Shut up! Shut the what? You, you listen? Oh wait, you listen when? My man, and my opa beg you. To save their lives, you listen. You listen, Sandra. What are your problem, Sandra? What are your problem? What do you want me to? 
You all don't want to be reasonable with me. You all want to kill me, want to eat me. You all don't want to see my face on there. What do you want me to do? I don't want anything from you. Why you can't listen to me? I don't want anything from you. Just go away. Go away. You know something, Sandra? I now know that not the right time to come. Oh, no, no, no. You can't walk away from me. Huh? You can't walk away from me. He's in the theater right now. The doctors are on him. They are breathing on him. They said he he fractured his skull. Okay, just calm down, Susan. Calm down. Sandra, what happened to him? I don't know. He just uh, he just slipped and fell. Well, that's a. I'm supposed to believe that. Susan, what are you insinuating? Like Susan, I mean. Okay, okay, yes, we had a, we had a brawl, I mean, yes, we argued, and, he, you know, he was, he was leaving, I, I, I was like, you know, I was trying to pull him back, I, I told him to stop, he, he didn't, I, I tried to pull him, I don't know what happened, he was like, he was he was unconscious, I don't know, come on, somebody, we this story, calm down, sir. Whatever, you can believe whatever you want, man. It's not like I can. You see, you haven't changed one bit, have you? It is always about you. It has always been about you. Ah, oh, just but you take have it to easy. Do this. Anything. If anything happens to him, I could never forgive you. Stop. Stop. Just stop. Calm down, please. Calm. Just calm down. You have always... You have always made, made your hatred for him very obvious. But did you have to go this far? Susan, I didn't push him. Come down, Sandra. Do I? Do I have to go for the open? I didn't push him. This is not happening. This mean anything to you. Susan, I did not push him. Susan, I did not push him. This is not happening. This mean anything. I did not push him! Just out. Stop it. get out! I'm doing oh, what? No, 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 calm down, Susan. Susan, don't do this. Oh. Get out! Sandra! <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm really sorry now, okay? Sandra! She thinks I did it right. Really? 
Lord. How could you think I wanted to? How could you think that I, I tried to kill him? I was just trying to pull him back. Eh? You know, darling, this whole journey has been doomed from the start. You shouldn't have come. I told you I didn't want to come. Honey, she's just upset, and it's natural in everybody, okay? But I believe you. You do? I believe you. I know you can't do such a thing, okay? Thank you. Just have some faith. Harry will be okay, all right? Uh, let's go home. You need to take some rest. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Let's go on. I want to go back. Come on, baby. Oh, <laughs> come on. No, I, I will talk to her. Everything will be fine. Let's go home. Let's just go home. Let's go home. Well, what's up? The told me his condition is critical. The operation was successful. But for some strange reason, we must pray. Let us go out to the camp. Okay, thanks. We're going to the camp. Who's who? And um, the operation was successful, but for some reason he hasn't regained patience. I think we should. It's okay, but calm down, okay? Pastor Tim, Pastor Tim. Okay, the man of God that all has a badge of doing great things. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's also fun of laughing at your brother's misfortune. You're not needing around here anymore. Blood of Jesus. But but I came as soon as I found out. Are we communicating? Look, the people that are needed here are those with genuine compassion. Not people like you. How come everybody seems to hate me? Why is everybody picking pick on me? I mean, what, what have I done? I, I, is it me that killed Jesus Christ? You despise yourself. You feel by going around and telling people the great and wonderful things you do, you endear people to yourself? Wrong. Very, very wrong. You attach so much importance to yourself that you fail to realize that people don't often come to people because of what they say or your empty promises. Just by being yourself. But, but, but God knows. Heaven knows. And Jesus can attest to the fact that I'm a very compassionate person. Oh. And the Holy Spirit is my witness. Oh. I, I have the fear of God in me. I love. I, 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 I love. Of course. You're a very, very compassionate person. That I know. But you're only compassionate to yourself. And a word of advice. The worst thing a man can do to himself is to deceive him own self. If you will excuse me. Um <laughs> Let me be Gerald, okay? Just leave me alone. You're one of them anyway. One of who? You're one of them. I mean... You guys have all succeeded in painting me the devil. And then this guy is now the victim after all that he did. Come on, come on, baby. Honey. I know what he did. 
it was dreadful. Totally inhuman. But he's repented now. He's a changed man. He's so sorry for what he did. And if there's any chance he won't make it up. Your sister leaving him will not make things better. Sweetheart, can't you see? Can't you see that this man is nothing but trouble? Now look at it. He has succeeded in making Sue say hateful things to me. I can't believe Sue thinks I, I was about to kill somebody. No, no. Sally. See, if you continue like this, you risk alienating your sister. You may succeed in blackmailing her into traveling abroad with you. But with time, she will come to hate you. She will come to realize you destroyed her opportunity to happiness. And she will not forgive you for that. She will not. Honey, I know you've gone through a horrific experience. We all have. But you need to give us all a chance to heal. Give us a chance to heal. What do you want me to do? Good. I want you to go to the hospital. <gasps> go see Susan. Go be with her now that she's praying for the life of her man. Show her you love her. Show her some care. That's what sisters do. Maybe she doesn't want to see me. That's a chance you have to take. Okay, baby. Come to laugh at their misfortune. What do you want? Tina. Tina, please, you have to listen to me. First of all, I have not come to laugh at anybody. I, I'm, I'm really sorry. But you have to listen to me. Don't take what I want to tell you as one of those my numerous gist and yarns I always get to tell you. This one is for real, please believe me. Tina. I all my life I've I've always had it rough. I I practically grew up with an uncle because my my father had many wives. And my father and mother were always fighting. They were always at each other's neck. So I learned to survive. And to survive meant that I had to be smart. And in my only two way, I felt that being smart was to be able to, to deceive people. So I found the church. 
and I joined the church. I felt I was going to advance myself. But all along, I found out that all I've been able to do was, was to give myself an ill reputation and a bad name at that. Tina, are you listening? I'm sorry. I... I capitalize on the fact that that you're a desperate woman and you, you needed a man in your life. I... I... I've been using you I know how you, I know how you feel. I'm deeply sorry about all this. Tina, I beg you. Somehow I've come to my senses. I know you have hurt, you have felt bad. I know I've used you. But if for anything, I just want you to know that nobody has ever appreciated me like you have. Nobody has shown me love and concern like you. I always felt nobody understood me. You were the only one who cared for me, who appreciated me. I just want you to know that I appreciate you a lot. Please forgive me. In the name of God, please. He said the surgery was successful, man. And yet you refused to come around. I'm sorry, my love. I'm, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you at the point of your need. If you can hear me. Can you hear me? Please wake up. I need you. I need you, please. If you can hear me, wake up. I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. I'm sorry for all the pain I've caused you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Did, did you see that? He squeezed my hands. He squeezed my hands. Did you see that? I just came from nowhere and I almost spoiled this beautiful thing going on within you and my sister, within the both of you. You guys, you just forgive me. I'm, I'm oh. just sorry. Oh, yes, well. So let me who bless to have a sister-in-law like you. See all the kind of bad things I did to you. Oh, Kambao, Anano, Arakuka, Anano. It's okay, really, it's okay. Mommy, 
You all right? I'm sorry, baby. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's awake. Oh God, God be praised. Pastor Henry. <laughs> right, see? Okay, 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 I know what you're going to say. Um, um, so whatever it is, this time is for real. Honestly, I promise. Hallelujah. <laughs> you, you know, it took um, somebody that loved me to, to bring me back. You know, I've seen the light, you know, I've seen the light and I know God is going to use me to do mighty things. You know, I'll begin to move mountains again for the Lord. We're going to be one big happy family, big congregation, you know, God doing... Team! Hmm? I, I, I was only joking. Uh, it's going to be a new start, fresh start, you know, praise God, <laughs> praise God. My man, team. My man, hallelujah, my man, my man, you are well. Hallelujah. God is a good God every time. Alpha Rebel TV, enjoy various genres of entertainment programming from the comfort of your home through our satellite delivered channels in your favorite languages French, English, Swahili, Sri, Igbo, Hausa, Yoruba, and so on. Alpha Rebel Dubbing Services. With the largest number of dubbing studios in Africa, we can help you dub your videos to major languages in Africa. Swahili, English, French, Yoruba, Aousa, Igbo, Wolof, Zulu, and so on. Afarevo YouTube, the largest YouTube partner in Africa, with over 500 channels of top African entertainment and millions of eyeballs daily, we help thousands of video creators make money on YouTube. Afarevo, the revolution is on.